Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. So today is the day. It is the day of the publication of On This Bright Day. And so that's why we're releasing the vlog on Tuesday, which we never do except when a book gets published because books are always published on Tuesday. So we've been looking forward to this day for a long time. And all week this week is going to be exciting stuff about the book in Brightline Eating Land. I know a lot of you have waited to get the book until it's actually published. So now is the time to get the book. You can go to a store near you and you will find the book on this bright day, A Year of Reflections for Lasting Food Freedom. So, so sweet. So yeah, go in person to get the book in a bookstore. That is a really good idea. I know that the New York Times cares about that. They, uh, they're old school. They really like the thought of people going to bookstores. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. See if the book is in your local bookstore and get it. And we have a hashtag we're using all week this week. It's hashtag on this bright day. And so take a picture, take a selfie of yourself with the book in a bookstore and put it on social, make it fun, make it cute. As a matter of fact, if you're really creative somehow and my social team notices it or I notice it, we might do something special for you. Just saying. Uh, So yeah, get your amazing hashtags out there in social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, X, I guess is the new name of Twitter, hashtag on this bright day. We'll be looking on those platforms for you. And uh, yeah, and as a matter of fact, if you use hashtag on this bright day on Instagram, your post gets put right onto our book bonus page, which is on this bright day book dot com on this bright day book dot com. And that's where you can go to enter your receipt number and get all manner of amazing bonuses. Things like um, a special video that I've made for you with a behind the scenes peek at the audiobook recording, which was quite unusual this year. I won't spoil it for you, but yeah, that's worth watching. Um, Some bookmarks that you can download and print out and use for your favorite entries in the book or other books that it's just always good to have a good bookmark, right? Um, And what else? Oh, my personal recommended for you ideal weight loss menu for a whole week meals breakfast lunch and dinner for a whole week whether you're plant-based or omnivore i've got you covered because it's two different versions and uh yeah you want to know what i think someone should be eating for maximal health maximal weight loss and you can just use that food plan wash rinse repeat um, week in, you know, week, week over week, over week, over week, if you want to. Um, yeah. And other bonuses too, including the people who buy the most books will get to come visit me in Rochester, New York. We'll craft a custom visit together. Uh, so all of that is at on and more. There's a lot more at on this bright day book.com. And uh, the contest is ending this weekend. So go ahead and uh, look. You can click on the leaderboard there. There's a link to the leaderboard to see who's who's in the lead. It actually, you know, in terms of what people spend on a vacation, it's not inconceivable that just with the cost of of a a vacation, you could be coming to visit me in Rochester, New York, which would be super fun. But basically to celebrate the release of the book this week, I just want to um, make it a community event. And so I've talked with some people that I don't think you've met before. Maybe some of them you have, but a lot of them I don't think you have. And yeah, I just uh, wanted to talk with them a little bit about the book, about themselves. So check it out. All right, everyone, I'm here with my dear friend, Kathy Cox. Kathy, how do we know each other? We met in graduate school at the University of Rochester. We were not in the same program, but we met in a graduate student women's support group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for some reason, of all the people in that group, you and I just clicked and have been great friends ever since. We finished our doctoral dissertations at the dining room table like during the same like month, we finished up and defended within a couple of days of each other and graduated at the same time with our PhDs. It was so fun. So we've both been on a food journey. You've been on a food journey and now you're in Bright Line Eating. So what I remember most about our food journey is uh, you were in Australia 
um, during your postdoc and I was still in Rochester and I called you one day and I was just at my wit's end. I just couldn't stop eating and I felt horrible and my weight was way up. And you told me to go to a 12 step program. And I did, and it was fabulous. And you and I were in that program together for quite a long time before you started Brightline Eating. And so why did you go from there to Brightline Eating? And what do you think about Brightline Eating? How is it different? Yeah. Yeah, I quit that program before you started Brightline Eating. And I was just floundering, of course. I'm the kind of food addict that needs some support. Um, But that program was a little too... Um, I guess punitive might be a good word. I always Mm. felt like it, um, things were a little harsh. Like if I, uh, blew it and ate something, there were consequences that I thought were a little harsh. Um, Mm. so I started bright line eating pretty much when you, when you started it. And what I find different about bright line eating is it's such positive support. It's such a loving positive support. So you and I are in a mastermind group together and we've been, we've been, we call it mastermind mavens. We have the magnificent mavens mastermind group because I love alliteration, the magnificent mavens mastermind group. And we've been together now for over eight years in that group meeting faithfully once a week for two hours. And we pretty much never miss And what's it like being in that group? What does it mean to you? And some stuff has come down for you in that group, if you if you're willing to share. Not too long, maybe a year, maybe two years in. um, I lost my fiance and he committed suicide and I found him and it was by far the most traumatic experience in my life. And I remember getting on the call and I I know I texted Susan and Lyndon and said, oh, my gosh, John is dead. Um, but I remember getting on that call and they said, you can have the whole time. (laughs) And, you know, it took me a couple of years to recover from that. And I talked about it for two years. And whenever I talked about it, they would say, you can talk all you want. You know, I'd feel like, oh, I'm talking about this again. And they'd be like, no, you can talk about it all you want. And they would give me feedback and, Yeah, I don't know where I would have been without that kind of support. And I already felt so close to that you were the first people I contacted and let them let you know, you know, wow. Yeah, that does blow my mind, but I'm not very good at trying. (laughs) (laughs) So um, you got the book because I, I got three cases of books, which is 36 books. And I sent them out to my mastermind mavens and to the bright line eating team members and to my family, um, and to the bright line eating ambassadors. So that's where I distributed those books to early. So yeah, the book is published today. This vlog is going to come out exactly on publication day. So tell people about this book. What do you think about this book? I love it. Yeah, I ordered a copy, of course, right away. And I ordered one on Audible. And then this one came in the mail. She inscribed it. Um, Okay, so I've been in Brightline Eating since its inception. But I have to say, I kind of feel like I'm on the fringes, even though I talk to Susan every week. Um, I'm kind of in and out. And I don't manage to stay bright all the time. Um, I have a lot of slips, especially when I travel. And I think the one reason why I'm not a stronger, uh, bright line eater is because I don't always utilize the support that's offered to us. And so for me to have uh, something to kind of get that bright line eating message every morning is really valuable. I've, I've had the this for I'll probably be wrong a couple of weeks now like that yeah yeah um yeah so I do have a good meditation practice I uh I think meditation is super 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 important um and so to sort of link that meditation practice to a, a message from bright line eating every morning is really great it's really great do you have a, a memory is there one that that do you have a story of one that just really impacted you? That was what you needed to hear or. Yeah, there was one uh, just a few days ago. Um, 
about numbing. Mm. Well, we sort of numb out and I, I do that. And if I'm not eating, I'll find another way to do it, like watching TV or something. And I think I've been in that a little more than usual lately. And when I read that, I just went, yeah. You know, the way we try to escape from our feelings or the stress of our lives. And um, yeah, that was just a great reminder. Yeah. A great reminder. And a great reminder to find a better way like a nice hot bath or something instead of mm-hmm. instead of food or for me even tv watching or shopping or having things that mm-hmm. can be ways to escape oh so sweet kathy thank you for joining me yay i know thank this you. is way 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 out of your comfort zone so thank, thank you for <laughs> thank you for doing this i'm sure everyone loves meeting you thank you kathy thank you hey angela hi So you are the head of graphic design at Brightline Eating. Yes, I am. You do a lot of tech stuff too. And you're amazing to work with. Thank you. And you you are responsible for how great this book looks. And people (laughs) always talk about how good it feels in their hands and how they love the look of it. And thank you for the amazing design of this book. Well, thank you for the compliment. I just love how it turned out. Yeah, right. You've got one. And are you enjoying it? So much. You know what? It's just so nice to be able to like start the day with it's, it's, it's a quick positive reminder of like setting the the framework for the day. And it's just been amazing. Like I've been reading it now for, you know, since you sent it to me, I think a couple of weeks now, it's just been really nice, just really positive. And this time of year when it starts to, you know, it starts to become fall around here and it's just nice to have that little positive something to start the day every day. Totally. And you do bright line eating. You don't just work for bright line eating. You do bright line eating. That's right. Five years. Five years. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And you're living your bright transformation. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and it's, it's been, it's so interesting life, you know, it's, it's been a roller coaster because I, I went through a pregnancy through COVID stayed bright, you know, just really interesting, you know, all of the ups and downs and the little things that you have to change along the way, but it's, it's just been great for me. I can't imagine. It's just hard to imagine that I lived any other way. Mm. So last question, why do you think it's important that this book is out in the world? Oh gosh. I mean, to be honest, like any source of positivity that you can get into your day day to day, I just think it's so important. And, you know, different people find different tools. But for me, I am a busy mom. I, you know, I've got a three year old. It's, you know, I don't have a lot of time to really incorporate a lot of different tools into my life right now. And this is just like an easy, quick, positive way to start the day. And and I've just been really enjoying it. So I think, you know, there are probably other people, busy people out there with all kinds of things they need to do. It's it's really helpful to have just a little something that you can, you do every single morning or, you know, whatever time of day. All right. Hi, everyone. We are here with a bunch of folks in the United Kingdom. Hello. Who have we got here? Introduce yourselves. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Thank you for inviting us. It's a privilege and a pleasure to be here with you. Um, my name's Sue Smith. I'm um, seven, almost seven years in Bright Line Eating. I've lost, um, well, I'm maintaining for that seven years, give or take six months, which it took me to lose the weight. I'm maintaining 110 pound weight loss. Oh, wow. Wow. And where are you in the world, Sue? <laughs> So I'm in um, Staffordshire in the UK. So I'm in a tiny little, well, small little town called Burton on Trent, which this past couple of days has been a little bit like an island because we've had floods, bad floods in the UK. Mm. So it's been a bit interesting. Thank you, Sue. And Glynis. Uh, hi, Susan. Hi, everybody. My name's Glynis Roberts. I'm from Wales in the UK. Um, I started Bright Line Eating uh, four years ago, actually four years ago next week, and I've uh, lost around about 190 pounds, so I kept on very, very big numbers, 
and Broadland Eating has saved my life. Thank you so much, Glennis. Amazing. Amazing. All right, Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Blackwell, and I am in Sussex, not far from Gatwick, which most people know as a London airport, but it's not really London. And um, I am uh, four years tomorrow, I think, um, that I started Brightline Eating. Um, I've had some ups and downs. I did lose 70 pounds, and um, I've never gone far away, and I am back here in Boot Camp 2.0, sitting down and coming all the way in. Beautiful. Welcome back, Lisa. So glad you're doubling down and just really about to just explode with joy when Blue Boot Camp 2.0. It's going to be so good. Yay. All right. And Katie. Hi there. Hi, everybody. I swear I just saw this gang this morning um, <laughs> <laughs> on our call. So, yeah, my name is Katie Lopez. I'm originally from the United States. Uh, I've been in Littlebury. Uh, UK, which is in Essex, uh, just over one year. I've been in Brightline Eating almost seven years. And I've had kind of a curly cue journey as well, like Lisa. Um, and just, you know, learning from every minute of it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. sweet. So sweet. And you all meet you do your own little accountability call in the mornings at 7.30 in the morning, UK time. And you don't have the book on this bright day yet, but you downloaded the pages of it from the bonus, right? You've got it on your phone right there. Love it. And how are you using it? So we, um, we can't, because in the UK, because of the time differences, and we all appreciate this, we don't necessarily get to speak to anybody on the kind of accountability call live throughout the day. We can listen to the morning accountability call at lunchtime, but it's, you know, um, often we're working or there's other things going on. So a lot of us can't get to that morning um, accountability call. So we do our own version of it in the morning or in the evening, whichever, which is a regular occurrence now. We do it every single day. We're always there. And there's always varying different people with us. And we just go through the questions, the accountability questions. We take a minute to breathe and just relax. We read the On This Bright Day daily reader. And we just get so much, so much out of it. So much out of it. Both ways, actually, we get stuff out of it. So, yeah. So sweet. And Chris Riley is here. Should I admit Chris? Yes. Chris is one. Yeah. So, Chris, can you share your full name and where you are in the world? Yeah, yeah. So, I am. Oh, right. Yeah. So, Chris Riley. And I am. I live in Shropshire in the West Midlands in the UK. Nice. And in a sentence or two, tell us about your Bright Line Eating journey. Um, so I have been doing BLE for a year. Um, so, yeah, so I so I lost weight pretty quickly. I did uh, boot camp last year and basically lost all my weight in about three months. So about 55 pounds and then was in maintenance for about two minutes and then went basically straight the other way. Um, gained then, it. Was that, sorry? Gained it right back. Well, about half of it, but I just started binging quite badly. So it was like mm. this kind of off on ditch. Um, and then, yeah, really, I've just been trying to find ways of getting out of the ditch since. Um, and then I've just, I've resumed so I'm on day 42 of my resume. Yes. So, so I'm on a really good stretch at the moment. And, and everything's sort of sticking. And a lot of the things that I learned while I was in the ditch are, are just absolutely invaluable. The learning how to be compassionate with myself mm. when I was in that really bad place has now proven. I, I think that was the key for me, really. So does anyone want to share... Why do you think it's important that this book is out in the world? What difference does it make for you or for others? I think that when we first started, uh, I used um, not the blue book of AA, but the 
their their daily reader. Mm -hmm. And it was really helpful, but I always had to kind of superimpose bright line eating onto it. And I feel like with this bright day, it's really just for us and very specific to the tools that are available to us um, and very specific to the community and like what we go through that Mm -hmm. maybe is different than a, a general book like from AA. And um, what I've loved about the PDF of the book and the pages that we've got is the introduction where you talk about day by day will feel a little bit better. Day by day, it gets easier. Day by day, the world gets brighter. And I would say day by day, the friendships we develop get stronger and stronger and stronger, particularly with this group, with this call, we are like family. All of us are like family. BLE is the biggest family I've known, and I adore every single person in BLE. Yeah, Susan, we've had so many times where we have had a conversation. We are doing the reading for the day, and it is like, wham. (laughs) It's like the perfect reading, just what we need to hear. Um, And, um, yeah, you know, it it moves us, it deepens our friendships because it supports us in having deeper conversations and and also just that reflection that comes from, you know, and feeling, I suppose we feel part of the bigger Bright Line Eating community, even though we're here in the UK, you know, when we read it and it reaches right out to us, it's like, you know, we are part and you know us and we know you and we're all in it together. I think it really brings us together. So, yeah, it has been amazing. Susan, I, I, I caught COVID in the hospital and um, found out that I had autoimmune disease. And the consultant said to me, if I hadn't, because I'd lost a substantial amount of weight, I would have died. So um, I didn't. I'm alive. I'm alive. Mm. And to share and pass on the love and anybody that I can find, I tell about Bright Line Eating. We are just so grateful to you. We Mm -hmm. would love for you to come over and visit and just be with us and just feel the love in person that we have for you. Hi, Dory. Hi, Hi. Dory. I just want to... <laughs> Where are you in the world, my dear? I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. Nice. And tell us about your bright journey. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a special moment right now. You realize I'm about to tell you something. So this is my my uh, BLE anniversary. <gasps> Did I? Oh my gosh, yes. anniversary. How many years? Four. Four years, and you're rocking your bright transformation. How much weight have you shed? And you're just rocking it. Oh my goodness. Yes. So my highest weight, I was 200, and my start weight was probably about 167 ish. I had already sort of started, but it was a lot of up and down, up and down. And I was like, "Where well, this nothing is working." And then, of course, comes in bright line eating, comes in your email into my mailbox, and then it was a year. One full year, same weekend, anniversary, one year later, got on the scale and it was 119. And I was just like, what? What? <laughs> and so that that first year was, of course, it I know I it was the, to just recount that experience is just there was silence. Like there was silence. I was like, wait a minute, could this be? What's happening? I got off, I got back on. <laughs> Cause I was like, pinch me, you know? And I took a picture of the scale and I was just like, there was so much silence. And I was really trying to sort of pinpoint what that silence was. You know, there was so much, I was like, it was silence, emotional silence, but it was also silence because it was peace. It was peace. And I was just like, what is this newfound feeling of peace and serenity in getting on and wow, and getting off and just being like, I'm here. And I really needed time to sit with that. That was a brand new feeling. It was a brand new uh, reality of just trusting that, trusting my bright light needing, trusting the scale. I had already, you know, began to trust it, you know, halfway through the journey already. The every year bright light needing birthday or bright light needing anniversary has become so important because I do a boot camp on every single anniversary. Every single anniversary I do, it's sort of my way of being like, 
this is my ritual. It's my ritual. And so it's so beautiful uh, to just stand here today and say it's four years now. Here we have another anniversary. Here we have another boot camp starting. Here we have just that, just those things. I think that's so important. And the book on this bright day. Tell us about about the book in your life. Yeah. Well, I love it. I I really really do love it. First, just aesthetics. I love the size. I think it'll fit great in my suitcase because I travel often. Um, I love that it's hard copy because it protects these precious pages. Today, the word is, you know, kindness, right? And so, you know, to have this, to set up a day, but also to carry the kindness word through the day and apply it, just the one word, even alone, would would just make such a difference, you know? So when I write, um, when I write in my journal or when I eat each meal, you know, I'll think about the word kindness, you know, what what type of kindness needed to happen to get that that food on my plate from farm to table? You know, I mean, what what you know, what kind of kindness can I extend out into the world, even if I'm feeling not so great? You know, um, and can you open the book and read the mantra at the bottom of the page? Because um, yeah, yes, I act from kindness, especially toward myself especially toward myself, right? And the whole page is kind of about, you think, we think of kindness as like, oh yeah, I'm so kind. Great. This is easy. Oh no. It's about kindness to myself. <laughs> like, right. That's harder. <laughs> right. Oh, Thank so you. sweet to be with you. Happy Brightline eating birthday, or as we say, birthday. <laughs> birthday. This is my, bir- my birthday. Yes, it is. Yes. And it's food factory day. So my uh, my husband's off onto the side. I said, "Honey, can you make these two things while and I'll hit you back and I'll make the other thing." So we're actually team working it today. Nice. Oh, go enjoy Food Factory. So sweet, my dear. So much love. Bye. Bye now. Hi, Simone. Hi, Susan. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. You got a little kiddo there. Yes. Oh, and as soon as oh, here comes the other one. As soon as he did me talking, he's going to start crying over here. You waving? So Simone has twin one-year-olds. It's something (laughs) I know a little bit about, but it's been 14 years since I had twin (laughs) one-year-olds. A little bit of a difference, huh? Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. Naomi. And we got Drake coming into the scene here soon. Yeah, here he comes. Drake, handsome kiddo there, precious babies. And Simone, you work for Brightline Eating. Tell everyone what you do. Yes. So I am the manager for the customer support team. I've been with Brightline Eating since 2015, and I've been doing customer support managers since 2017. And, you know, I started, well, you were my professor. So that's really how it all started in body image and eating, uh, psychology of body image and eating. And you said, um, why don't you just try this? You can either write a 12 page paper or try. But this food plan and tell me how it works. So I chose the food plan because I don't want to write a 12 page paper and I lost weight. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And here I am after I found you later on and started working for you, did the program, everything. And yeah, so that's how I found my way to Bright Line Eating. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Sorry. I was like, I think, you know, when you have two babies, you'd be like, wait, what was I talking about again? What was I mentioning? The book. Yes, the book. I brought it out here for good. It's a, look how pretty this is. I just love it. Um, but I keep it by my bed. I am a morning reader usually. Um, sometimes I use it at night if I need to, but um, I have found that it's a new great tool. Um, I have my up and down moments, you know, so it's really helpful to have a reminder of doing everything just one day at a time, just like you read one day at a time. You just take everything one day at a time. And it has helped me feel like my journey is something that I can take as it comes. Like it's not something that I have to think about and, oh my gosh, forever and blah, blah. You know, it's just, it's hard to think that way. So having this book has been a really great tool for me. Um, We don't so much get to read it together at bedtime or anything, but (laughs) <laughs> um, I, I, um, I really, really am so excited that, you know, we have something that I can, like, I'm a daily reader person. So I'm just really glad that I have something now that is for bright light eating specifically. 
Yeah. Say we like reading. Say I love books. See, you can you're gentle with books. He'll open the cover. He'll look at it. But he won't. He's not a you gonna show him how you read a book? Show him how you read a book. So gentle. Yeah, it's pretty. Thank you, Simone. See you later. Bye. Bye. We have Beth and Tony Wade with us. And Beth is the one who crocheted Grogu here, who's my little, my little special guest on so many Zooms that I do. Hey, you two. Well, I started in 2019. Uh, I was 381 pounds. And um, that was in May of 2019. By May of 2020, I was into maintenance. I lost about 150 pounds. And um, I went from a size 56 waist pants to a 36 waist pants to a 4X shirt to a 1X shirt. And uh, but besides all that, I got peace of mind, which I didn't come here for. Nice. Amazing. And Beth? And then um, I did not start when he did. Uh, I was waiting until I was ready from inside me. So I started the 1st of July on uh, uh, in 2020. And uh, by October, September, October, the next year, I was in the weight range I am at now, lost around 100 pounds. But for me, the biggest thing was the uh, clear mind, uh, not just a peace of mind around my food, but just being able to think more clearly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to drop one of my two meds for depression. And uh, for the past two and a half years, I've had no depressive episodes at all. And wow. that's after my entire adult life and most of my childhood uh, suffering from clinical depression. Wow. So, um, for me, that's the biggest. Priceless, literally priceless. So what's your experience with the book on this bright day? Um, nothing. <laughs> None? <laughs> None. Um, <laughs> And it's and it's not don't take it personally. Uh, as soon as I heard about it, of course I ordered it. But uh, I like to experience it in the moment. I like to um, to you know I'm at the anticipation of it. Get it. I don't even watch movie trailers. I don't want to know anything when I go to see a a play or something. I'm not. I don't want to read a synopsis of what's going the story's about. I wanted to, you know, to unfold before my eyes. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for when I get the book. To uh, hey, I know hey, they hey. had. I knew they had all that stuff, but I was like, well, I just want to read. Yeah, so no bonuses good. for you. You're waiting. And, and how since, about you, Beth? Since he's not good about sharing, um, right. I got my own copy. I probably, if not the same day, the ne next day, but I ordered it on Kindle because I like to do my morning readings on Kindle. But my only experience with it is um, once or twice somebody we were on Zoom with read that days, and I really enjoyed the ones right. I've heard. But um, then it was like almost a month later, not really, it felt like a month later when I found out, oh, there's this pre-order stuff. And it's like, you know what? My brain doesn't have the bandwidth to figure out what do I have to do? I, I'm still a bit foggy from the medical stuff I went through earlier this year. So I'm just going to wait until it comes. And then I'm probably going to start it on, on the 1st of January, just because I'm already in the middle of a couple of readers and I like to keep things <laughs> and not me see I, I started butt night eating on may 17th on a friday so i'm just gonna get it bam and just go you know you you started on, uh, on i started on july 1st see. but that's only because that was my day one because that's when i got the last piece of all my my uh materials you know the before boot camp here's all the things you need and the last thing i wanted got here june 30th so that's why my day one is July 1st. Otherwise it would be whatever that next day was. So, so there. Yes. All right. Well, I got to hop into, thank you so much, Beth and Tony Wade. Thank you so much. Oh, so sweet. Right. So that is it on this bright day is finally out into the world. It is going to support you and nurture you every single day from here on out. Go get your copy get into a physical bookstore, get that copy, go get your bonuses at onthisbrightdaybook.com and be sure to use that hashtag all week long. I'll be looking for you on every social uh, platform there is hashtag 
on this bright day. I'll see you online. Enjoy the book. It's finally here in your hot little hands. Go get your copy. Mm, This book is out into the world. Fly, fly, baby. It's out. It's out into the world. Ah, I love you. I'll see you next week.